today I'm gonna be doing a review of a L'Oreal uh, mascara volume million lashes so cute you're so black that's what the packaging looks like so according to the description online this mascara dresses your um, dresses your lashes in a liquid black silk for lash by lash definition refined volume no no clumps no stiff lashes the couture brush has been tailored by experts to coat every lash without clumps it's extra soft and small bristles gently thicken the look of each lash while its rigid won't enable you to spread the formula evenly from root to tip. The liquid black silk formula gently envelops each lash with volume and intensity, leaving lashes soft. Say goodbye to stiff lashes. This is what the one looks like. So obviously it's got those um, rubbery bristles, but it is quite small compared to the most it is quite small compared to most of the similar mascaras or similar ones that I have used in the past and I have also used this mascara before but um, I think this is a new version um, so it was quite good but I think that the, the bristles were actually longer anyway let's see how it applies lashes really really well that's why I like those sort of uh, brushes because they just leave your lashes amazingly separated so they look just so incredibly natural in terms of coverage um, I will definitely need another coat at least one So let me actually let me actually show this to you. Okay, so this is what the lashes look like. I mean, even after just one coat, it seems that you can definitely see my lashes. Um, this well, this eye doesn't have any mascara, so you can really compare. I will still apply a second layer. Um, so we'll see what the effect is going to be like but even just after the first coat I can straight away tell that you know I've done something with my lashes Okay, so two coats, I think, um, is definitely enough for a day look. Okay, so you can definitely see the lashes. Um, I have just sneezed several times, so actually I think that that caused the lashes to stick together. Because they weren't together before I actually sneezed. Okay, I can try to separate them a little bit. Okay, so I did... I did manage to separate them just a little bit. Um, anyway, let's do the other eye.
there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave my lashes just like that. I'm not gonna apply any eye makeup apart from the lashes today. Um, and I will see how it goes throughout the day. So far, I am really happy with the look. Um, no complaints whatsoever. The lashes, maybe they are not completely separated, but uh, they are definitely easily visible and uh, fairly evenly covered. So I will see you guys at the end of today. I'll check in and we'll see whether this product is worth purchasing. See you in a bit. Hi guys, so it has now been 13 hours, more than 13 hours since I actually applied this mascara and I am really happy with it. First of all, it didn't crumble, so all of those little lengthening particles that most mascaras have nowadays, I do not have any of these in my um, eye area. A lot of the time with especially drugstore mascaras or any mascaras really um, I would get the little particles in my eye or I could see them sort of uh, just uh, below my eye so that is not first of all it's a not a very flattering look on top of that it's very very uncomfortable when you have those little things in your eye your eyes become itchy and you know you start tearing up um, so yeah um, no problems with that. Um, as far as I can see, the mascara looks fine. I mean, um, I don't think it's much. Maybe it's much a little bit. Uh, looking at the, um, uh, under my eyes, it seems like it might have smudged just a little bit. Uh, but overall, I'm super happy. Okay, so as you can see, I mean, <laughs> look at this. This mascara is still on. I mean, it is still on. It didn't really smudge, I mean, I don't know, maybe a little bit just over here, but overall, comparing to so many other mascaras that I have used, I mean, the results are really good. Obviously, it is a little different because this mascara is a, is a very fresh product, so I just literally opened it yesterday. Um, so yeah, so maybe that's the reason, and maybe I will change my mind at some point, but I have used a million of uh, the million lashes that's what it's called uh, million lashes mascara before um, just a slightly different version and I was really happy with it and I still am and I will continue using it most likely unless some freaky accident happens for the price that I have paid which was I believe less than 10 pounds um, I think this mascara is a really good choice if you're looking for something to wear every day uh, if you're looking for something with the right price tag and something that um, you know is just a drugstore so you don't have to you know spend loads of money on it or it's just it's a very simple product but it is actually a really good quality and I do like it and I will definitely continue using it as always if there's anything that I want to add if I continue testing this mascara and there's um, you know there's something that I haven't mentioned so far and I would like to say then I will link my blog down below and you can check it out and see um, the post and see a follow-up review like I normally do um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you find this video useful and I will see you for my next review or another video. Bye!